On this channel, we talk about all the time how modern women go after Chads, Tyrones, Pookies, and Ray Rays. But what if I told you that some Chads are becoming passport bros? What up, gents? Welcome to TSG Uncut. I am your host, Sean C. Today, I'm going to show you some video clips of a Chad who talks about being done with these modern women and modern dating, and that he is showing us the lifestyle that he chooses to live. But before we see that video, I'm going to do a recap of a video I did recently that shows why men are done with modern women. Please enjoy today's video and with that being said, let's get started. As a woman, you need to learn how to flip the script and make everything that man's fault. Even it don't matter what you do, you need to be able to flip it back on him. It's about how you talk. It's not even about how you have sex. It is not even about whether you wear really nice makeup or this or that. It's about how you talk. You girls know my channel's about manipulating men, taking money from them playing them and a lot of comments say do you ever feel bad do you ever think that karma is gonna get to you the simple answer is no I don't care I don't feel bad at all playing these men we hear these things all the time I will continue to bring these things to light because I believe that it is important for men to see the behaviors of modern women so that you know how to deal with them in your comings and your goings and not everybody can become passport bros so for you guys who still have to deal with women in the matrix this is the reason why I have this channel so that we can discuss and talk about these things now we know that these women will continue to live in their quote unquote truth which is code for them to continue in their bad behavior without consequences until it's too late we tend to think that chads have it very easy in the dating market which is typically true there's even a recent study that shows that 80 percent of women choose the top one percent of men when it comes to swiping on the dating apps and you may even be inclined to think that all chads want or love this type of attention however even chads want to have families they want to settle down with women who are fit feminine cooperative submissive on their program and willing to give them the thing that they desire the most which is usually peace and that's something that all of us men want but even these chads can't find wife material out here in this modern western culture but in this next clip I'm going to show you a video of a Chad who's had enough. Do you guys ever just become so insanely single that you almost become content to just being single forever and living the rest of your life with your dog? Or is that just me? I don't know. I mean... Again, as much access as these chads might have with modern women today, they want peace. We all want peace and we keep screaming it. But to them, to modern women, peace looks different. Peace looks like what they deem as peace instead of what us men are saying and screaming out here in these streets. Chads understand that as they get older, modern women serve no purpose to their overall goals and desires. Most modern women today think that they are eligible for the top 10% of men out here. But what they don't realize is that these men aren't checking for them for the long term. The man you saw in this last clip has experienced, obviously, the ups and downs of modern dating. Now, I used to play basketball in upstate New York when I was an instructor with a bunch of chads. And I used to call them the male models. I mean, these dudes were tall. All the women were fawning over them. And they would always try to bang the hottest chicks up there. But if you look at their lives today, if you could look at their lives today, and I get to see it on Facebook and stuff like that, these guys are married to pretty women, but these women are wife material. Matter of fact, the pretty women out there may even consider some of them to be considered plain Jane women. But the chat that we just saw is even past that point. He's just done with dating, period. But let's look at the life that this man has chosen for himself, vice going after these modern women, and see if it doesn't seem familiar to you, gents. Bear with me for the random videos and pictures, but this is basically the last two weeks for me in a nutshell. Yes, I'm an airline pilot, but I do love traveling for leisure. It gives me truly the greatest fulfillment. And the last two weeks were the greatest two weeks of my life. I started in Madrid for four days, then went to the south of France, which I've never been. I went to Nice and then Marseille and Monaco and then hopped over to Amalfi Coast, which I'd never been to Amalfi. And this place is heaven on earth. Highly, highly suggest it. But 
The reason why Amalfi was so amazing is because I met some of the greatest people in my entire life. Uh, spent countless nights meeting random people and staying on the beach up all night watching the sunrise, just learning about different people and their experiences and backgrounds. And I just highly suggest get out, talk to people, learn new things, experience life, and just have fun. Chad is a proud passport bro. <laughs> He would rather be single than spend his life with these miserable modern women who are only looking for what you can do for them, but add nothing to your life. He's traveling and not just for the women, but to escape the matrix. Bottom line, no man wants to deal with the selfish, arrogant, greedy, unfeminine, uncooperative, lack of accountability type women. I'm not saying that you have to be a passport bro to change your life. Like this man demonstrated, you have to live a life that makes you happy. If you are basing your life on who's in your life, then you're missing the point of escaping the matrix in the first place. Work on yourself, work on your purpose, and leave these modern women alone who don't reciprocate what you need from them. I've linked the recap video at the end of this video for your viewing pleasure. And until next time, live your best life.